Hello and welcome to part 5 in this series of tutorials for Excel beginners. In this tutorial we're going to look at formatting numbers and before we get into formatting the spreadsheet we've been working on so far I'll just show you an example of different types of formatting that you can apply to numbers on your spreadsheet. Um, as you can see here I've just put some examples of different ways you might see numbers. Currency is an obvious one, um, comma formatting and also percentages and I'll show you some of the things to watch out for when you're uh, applying formatting to these numbers. Okay, we'll start with currency. Um, now the most obvious way to apply formatting uh, to a number to get it to have currency style is to simply click on the toolbar button which is up here as you can see. So we click that currency button and it applies number or currency formatting. As you can see it puts on a currency symbol and also puts on the decimal place and two decimal places as well to the number. Um, if you want you can increase or decrease the decimal places with these two buttons here. And so if I want to say remove the decimal places on that number now I can simply click that decrease decimal button twice and the go away. Equally if I want to add decimal places I can click it the other side and it adds decimal places. Okay typically we'd want to see the number presented like that because it's currency. Another way you can apply currency formatting is to use the menu so if I select the next number there and go to Format Cells, now we go to the Number tab, make sure the Number tab is highlighted there, come down to where it says Currency, select that, and again you'll see we have a sample of how the number will appear when we're finished. What I'll do with this one is actually remove the decimal places, so I can do that as well in this dialog box, and also change the symbol, the currency symbol, and as you can see here we have a lot of different currency symbols but I'm simply going to select US dollars for this example. Click OK and there we have the currency value with the currency symbol uh, attached to it. Now you will notice that on the first example the currency symbol is over on the left hand side of the cell and the second example the currency symbol is up against the number. Uh, the reason for that is that the first example uses what Excel calls accounting format so that all the currency symbols will be aligned on the left of the column regardless of how big or small a number is. If you want to change that you can simply go to the format menu and change it back to normal currency formatting. Alternatively if you've applied number formatting as we have here and you want to change to accounting format you can do that as well. So what I'll do here first of all is just change the accounting format to standard currency format. So we go format cells and as you can see accounting is highlighted so I simply click the, cell, the uh, option above it. So we go to currency formatting, leave all the other items in place and when I click OK you'll see that the currency symbol jumps back against the number. Um, equally if I want to reverse it, so let's say I want to apply currency formatting to my second number, I can simply go to the currency button, click on that and it applies the accounting format. And as you can see it also puts a decimal place on as well. Okay, and the last example is just a large number. I'll show you another way you can apply number formatting, and that is to use the paste format feature. So if I, for example, want to apply the same formatting to this cell that I have on the previous one, I can select that cell, click on the paste format button, or the format painter, and click on the cell I want to apply the format to. So you can quickly apply format simply by choosing a cell with existing format, click on your format painter or paste format button, and then apply that to the, the cell you want the new formatting to go on to. Okay, the comma formatting is very similar to currency excepting it doesn't have the currency symbol. So if I just click on the first cell there, as I have done, uh, click on the comma button this time, the comma style, you'll see it applies a comma between, so it basically breaks up large numbers to make them easy to read. And I'll just select these two cells and apply also comma formatting and you'll see how that works as well. Um, fairly straightforward. The last style I'm going to show you here is percentage style. Now this is where sometimes people can get tripped up. Um, now I'm going to show you an example here where I, I've put in a number 10 and I want to this, this to display as 10%. So I might have typed in the number 10 and think okay I'm going to apply the percentage formatting now and so I'm going to go up to this button here, the percentage formatting, and click on that and you'll see what happens when I do that. It turns into 1000% which is not remotely what I wanted. Um, be careful when you're applying percentage formatting to your spreadsheets to make sure you haven't accidentally used whole numbers rather than parts of a number or a decimal. And what I mean by that is that Excel regards this as 100%. 
number one. So if I just enter that, apply a percentage formatting, you'll see it's 100%. So the number one is 100%. Anything above one is more than 100%. So be careful when you're putting your numbers in apply and applying percentage formatting. If I type a number in here, and I want it to have percentage formatting in advance, um, I would type in a number like this. 0.25. Now, by doing that, I'm saying I want to apply, let's say, a discount of 25%. But if I want to it to look like a percentage number rather than a, a decimal number, I can simply click on, the, click, click on the percentage button now, and that turns it into 25%. Okay, so just watch out for uh, when you're applying your percentage formatting that you don't accidentally end up with several thousand percent when you're meant to give a few percent discount instead. Uh, once you've applied the percentage formatting, you can simply re-enter the number you wanted in the first place. So I can simply type the number 10 here, press the Enter key, and it is now 10%, which is exactly what I wanted to give. So that's great. That's uh, just a little introduction to number formatting. There's a lot more things you can do, but those are some of the more common things you might come across. Okay, what we'll do now is we'll go back to our original spreadsheet and apply the number formatting. So here we are, and what I want to do is apply currency formatting to any of the currency values, and just maybe tweak the formatting of the the other numbers here, center them to make them look a bit neater. So I'll just select this column here of rental price. I'll leave the um, the ones where we created the function calculations for a moment, and I'm just going to apply the formatting. I'm going to use the format cell option within the menu. So it goes format cells, select currency, that's fine. I want two decimal places obviously because we have decimal places on our prices. Click OK and there you go, that applies the formatting. I also want to apply the same formatting to this column here. Now what I'm going to do is simply select one of the values with the formatting, click the format painter button and then drag down column there and that automatically applies all the formatting. Now there's another way I can do it as well. I can use the format painter just to go on and, and paint formats over the rest but if you want to format um, numbers that are in non-consecutive rows and columns you can do it by using the control key and I'll, I'll show you what I mean by that. If I just select the values here, average, max and min, leave count because that's not a, um, a currency value, now if I hold down the control key, I can also select the cells over here in column D, the four values there I don't want to apply formatting to. So by using the control key, you can select values pretty much any way you like on the spreadsheet. They don't have to be cells together at all. So I can go on here if I wanted to and just select a few cells there, cells there, cells there, and I could format all those cells now in one lump, if you like. So I'll just deselect that, because I don't want all those, obviously, and I'll reselect the ones that I do want, which are the three cells there, and the four cells in column D. And again, I will go to Format Cells, select Currency. Basically, the sample usually shows you exactly what you want, which is the currency symbol with the two decimal places. Click OK, and there we go. And finally, I just want to tidy up the number values, so I'm going to select all the values there. Again, I'll hold down the control key, select all the values here, and I can also select this cell and select this cell. So I've selected basically all the values in column C, which are not currency values. I've also selected the, the one value in column B and the one value in column D, which are also not currency values. And now I'm going to go to the format menu, select cells again. This time I don't want it to be a currency value, I want it to be a number. I don't want any decimal places on it, so reduce it down on using that little button there. Click OK. And one more thing I want to apply is to center all the values in the column or in the cell. And so I go up to the toolbar and click the center button. And there we go, that applies all the formatting. And if I just click away, you'll see that all the formatting is now applied to the spreadsheet as I want, which is great. So I will save that. That's all done. So that concludes this tutorial. I hope there were some useful things in there for you. What we'll do in the final tutorial for this spreadsheet is to apply the rest of the formatting and uh, we'll finish the whole thing up. So thank you for watching this one. I hope that was helpful and see you next time.